If we set our origin at center of mass, then distance of center of mass is zero. Therefore, m2 r2 minus m1 r1 divided by m1 plus m2, that is the position of center of mass, must be equal to zero. This implies m1 r1 is equal to m2 r2. Now let's move both the masses so that the center of mass remains undisturbed. We move m1 by distance x1 and r2 by x2, keeping the center of mass fixed at its place. So the new distance of m1 from center of mass is r1 plus x1 and that of m2 is r2 plus x2. Since center of mass is still at origin, m1 into r1 plus x1 is equal to m2 into r2 plus x2, which implies m1 r1 plus m1 x1 is equal to m2 r2 plus m2 x2. Now since m1 r1 and m2 r2 are equal, we get m1 x1 is equal to m2 x2. This means whenever two bodies are moved in a manner that its center of mass does not move, the product of mass and displacement of both the bodies must be equal. Now let us assume that the original length of spring is L0 and it is displaced by a distance X0 as given in question. So the length of the spring initially must be L0 plus X0 and its elongation is X0. Now since there is no external force, the center of mass of the system must remain at rest. Also, the energy stored in the spring must be conserved. So at its maximum compression, the spring has to be compressed by same distance we had elongated it because the energy of the spring is half kx0 square where x0 can be elongation or compression and final energy has to be equal to initial energy. So the final compression must be equal to initial elongation. So the final length of the spring will become L0 minus x0 which means total distance traveled by both the blocks is 2x0. Now let us assume that m1 travels by x1 and m2 travels by x2. As we have seen when center of mass is fixed, the product of mass and displacement of both the object must be equal. Therefore m1 x1 is equal to m2 x2. Also, since the total distance traveled by both the bodies is 2 x0, x1 plus x2 must be equal to 2 x0. Solving these two equations, we get x1 is equal to 2 m2 x0 divided by m1 plus m2 and x2 is equal to 2m1 x0 divided by m1 plus m2. To request any solution from HC Verma book, just post the question number and chapter number in comment section. Subscribe our channel for further updates. Thank you for watching.